for the Cavaliers, their first possession. Banker throws, and it's incomplete, and it's three and out line. Scoreless in the first quarter. Pass from the quarterback, Benkert, is complete. Handed off underneath. Benkert to pass. Pass is complete to Keon Johnson. The senior has his 12th run passes at Oregon last week. So you'll see him spread it around from the quarterback position. Well, when you spread UConn out the way they do, your line, which is on the come, did a nice job of slowing down that front. Benkert, a little pressure from behind. Complete out across the 40 to the 44-yard line of game. I thought that Diggs got exposed at times in space a little bit. But right now, Virginia's making it hard on this UConn ability to mix. Taquan Mizell, the running back in there. Play action to Reed, thrown outside to Johnson, and Johnson has another first down. What are you seeing? And again, I know it sounds so simplistic, but I think some confidence, and now they're starting to get into in the game. There's the ability to run. Benkert will throw it out to Mizell. Mizell inside the 15. Really good in the pocket. He knows where he's going with the ball. First and goal from the five. Benkert throws behind his intended receiver to not give an inch. This very well may be four down territory. Virginia does not have a lot of faith in its kicking game right now, and it will be on going 2-0, including a 30-13 win in Provo last year. Pass is complete to Keon Johnson. On average. Benkert to throw again, and that will... is complete, incomplete, but a fly comes in. Pass interference, defense number eight. First down. It was on Obi Mellon Fongbu, number 20. The win, Fotokasi did on that play. Banker has a man open and good. Third and five. Plenty of time for Benkert, and he throws outside for the first down to... Benkert on third down. Complete. Keon Johnson has enough for a first down. Of a football game, or 15-30 in a football game, it really does test you regardless of what you've gone through. Virginia two for four on third down. They go to the ground, and they have another first down. Albert is getting Reed for a one-yard game. Benkert, short, three by one, three wide receivers to the left, one to the right. Benkert looking left the whole way, and it's complete inside the 10. Going to be broad pressure from the second level. I don't think you can really get there. You see, he just squats down in the then pay. Every throw has been crisp. This one on the outside to Zacchaeus. On the field. 12th first down for Virginia. Again, thrown out in the flat and a flat. Get their skill players in space and force UConn to tap. First and 14. Banker throws it out of bounds. Um. Pass is incomplete. That second half of Oregon obviously meant something. Passes incomplete today for 40 yards. Passes Ooh. off the fingertips. Of Butts lined up on the right side of the screen here. And you see he kind of bows that route out a little bit. He runs to the spot in the zone. Virginia converts on third down again. It's first to 10 from the 35. Bankert throwing it for a gain of about five. Look, these corners and safeties have got to calm down. They can't keep getting these penalties. Mizell pops right at the 45-yard line. Melifonwu. Obi Melifonwu is the kind of guy that pro evaluators would love to have. He's a big body at 6'3", 217. You can clearly put 10 more pounds on him if you want to. Does a good job of driving to the football right there on Mizell. Bob Diaco can't say enough good things about a guy who had to step into the shoes of Andrew Adams, who's on the Giants practice squad, to be a leader on the back end. 
pass out to Dowling. Dowling hit by Melifonwu. They keep moving the chains for Virginia in this first half. They hurt me completely. Left side of your screen, you see him sliding into the flat with Melon Fonwu over the top. Mm. And he was all over. The they go with the delayed handoff, but UConn had it ready. But they miss a tackle. That's going to be a first down. It was right there to make sure of it. Putting Mizell down. Another third down and long play coming up for Virginia. Third and nine. Banker looking field and it is incomplete well the starter at that spot number 23 Warren Kraft is out of this one Lavroni gets the opportunity I think that's good all the way around that's good defense that's good coverage good hand battle from Lavroni right there the defense is carrying the load is the offense eventually that's something Bob Diaco is gonna have to manage pass to the outside and UConn gang tackling Great job by Dubois as well. Wiggling. Banker underneath to Mizell, and Mizell, his last start was in November of 2012 in a high school playoff game for Island Coast High School. So it had been a while the fourth quarter here in East Hartford. Banker to pass again. Now some pressure, and UConn comes up him to make sure they keep his head in the football game. He struggled this year. They can't have him check out. What a return! UConn answers back. Away. They did it BYU last year against UConn. That's a Bronco Mendenhall decision, and to this point, it's worked. Thrown outside to Mizell, and Mizell will have the first down. Oh, oh. The screen lined up out wide. Here is Albert Reed. Reed with a good carry, and Reed breaks through. Miller. Get him down close enough to kick a field goal or score a touchdown. They heard the pass. Looking for a lot of it here on first down, and it is caught. What a grab by Donnie. Three-yard line for a first down. Bankert across the middle has a man open. First down caught by Keon John. Three yards on fourth down and ten. Bankert will hand it off to Reed, and Reed is brought down at... Keon Johnson. The game clock, the 27 seconds. And you see, seconds on the game clock.